Caddis Maxwell's here. These are like, I don't know what the, they're like 13 bucks or something. Conductive handle electronic flush cutters. These are the, very similar to the other Doyles, which I think are like a dollar cheaper, a dollar or two cheaper. Rivets are basically the same. The little bit more expensive is they're using a hardened stainless steel instead of some sort of alloy steel. Although I suspect these alloy steels ones will actually last a little bit longer just because stainless steels can be hard but not as hard as non-staining steels as far as uh the build quality i think they are a little bit they are a little bit better we can see on the cheaper doils even though they still have conductive handles they just have like this basic kind of integrated spring for the uh handle spring where this one does have a wound spring that's inset into the handles that is a more expensive spring we can also see a second little thing here, and you're probably wondering what on earth is that extra little piece of metal? Well, that piece of metal is actually for retaining and why they're advertising it specifically for electronics. So if we say with these plain ones, if we cut a wire, the wire falls away. This actually pinches, so whenever you make a cut, it stays with the pliers. We make a cut here. And what that's doing is that's a second little jaw that kind of pinches. And so you don't just send a little uh, whatever you're cutting flying off everywhere. If we take a situation like this where we're trying to, say, trim up some leads, you can take, make the cut. And as we can see, it retains the lead instead of, get that out of there, instead of sending it off into oblivion like these kind of uh, regular flush colors. So to tell you the truth, um, this is probably one of the more worthy items at Harbor Freight just because uh, for just a little bit more money, you're getting a pair of pliers that is stainless steel, has a better spring, that just is more consistent, a little bit stronger. And it does have this nice little feature where it has an extra wire grip on it. So, or I should say retention clip to keep the little pieces from flying off. So anyway, these are certainly not Lindstrom's or any kind of like really professional grade uh, electronic pliers. There's certainly many brands of actual high-end ones, but those things will cost 30 to $50 for the same type of cutter. So for the weekend warrior type of thing or somebody who's on a budget, these are actually, you know, somewhat worthy electronic pliers. Once again, nice spring and a retention clip, which is a neat little feature. Anyway, really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Till next time, Caddis Maximus out.